Well, I'll be damned. Build one. Let's friggin' go. Launch the fireworks. I just want to say well done to both sides for taking the time to vote. It was great to see decentralized governance come to IOTA. But now we need to use the funds to actually build IOTA's future. Easy peasy. <laughs> so today I'm going to discuss five governance proposals which will help shape IOTA into the best DLT in this space. Make sure to drop your suggested proposals in the comment box below. Let's dive straight in. Number one, marketing. We should use some of the money to market IOTA. In recent times, the IF have admitted that IOTA needs more marketing. Even Dom acknowledged this in a recent tweet where he reached out to the community for marketing suggestions. IOTA is losing ground to other chains as other chains are throwing millions of pounds at marketing to get ahead. You only have to see Crypto.com sponsoring F1 and renaming a stadium after it. You see Super Bowl adverts. FDX brought in the big dog Larry David to push their platform. Also, was it just me, but during the peak of the bull run last year, it seemed like every crypto analyst pushed Solano, claiming it was the next Eve killer, super tone deaf when the network was down half the time. Whoops. This is obviously some sort of VC shilling. Anyway, of course IOTA can market more, and the community can now help with this through the community treasury DAO. We could use some of the funds for the following marketing activities. Reaching out to mainstream media for coverage, such as TV, magazines, and tech websites. We can make high quality videos to cover major releases. Hey folks, this is Chris Muller with another episode of Hello IOTA Roundup. We could sponsor content creators to help spread the message in a more organic way by paying two or three top level YouTubers to discuss IOTA. This could have a domino effect as smaller YouTubers will start copying their content. We could run social media ads. We could finance stalls at industry and crypto conferences. We could pay for the translation of articles into Chinese, Japanese, Korean to help build the following in Asia. We could also pay social media influencers there as Asia is a real growth market for the IF. Finally, we could pay for more traditional marketing such as paying marketing agencies to launch marketing campaigns for IOTA. I believe Dash did something similar. We could buy billboards in high traffic places such as airports and malls. I see so many Radex adverts on the London Underground. Let's use this money to market the crap out of IOTA. Proposal number two, increase shimmer supply. Next, I want to turn my attention to community member Cappy's proposal to increase shimmer supply by 20% and then allocate that 20% in tokens to a shimmer DAO fund to help finance the shimmer ecosystem. Cappy states that the most successful smart contract protocols have incentive programs to track builders and projects. These incentive programs can be launched to bridge assets to the network with on-chain liquidity incentives and grants. Cappy draws on examples from other blockchains such as Avalanche, Phantom and Nia who have all launched similar programs to help bring developers to the ecosystem. These programs have massively increased the transaction volume, users, use cases and TVL of the ecosystem ecosystems. To illustrate this point, Cappy uses the example of the address growth on Avalanche, which directly coincides with the launch of their incentive program. This coincides with a large increase in Avalanche's token price. Shimmer is meant to be a community project, but as it stands right now, Shimmer is not able to support any community activities as there are no token reserves available. Looking at the foundation wallet, they only hold 1.5% of all Shimmer tokens. Cappy proposes to increase the shimmer supply by 20% and set up dedicated community treasuries to accelerate the ecosystem growth of shimmer. 10% will be sent to the ecosystem development fund owned by the IF and then another 10% will be sent to a community DAO so there'll be a mixture of centralization and decentralization. Cappy explains that whilst in an ideal world you would give the community DAO the full 20%, the ecosystem isn't quite ready yet. The IF's new EDF fund will be a perfect vehicle to manage the tokens effectively by onboarding the right partners. Nobody in the IOTA ecosystem has a better connection to investors, funds and exchanges than members of their OTA foundation. If Shimmer is to compete, it needs to be backed not just by community spirit but also financial firepower. As Cappy says, don't hate the play hate the game and we need to execute better than other protocols. Proposal number three, exchanges. 
Another big issue we need to resolve with IOTA is exchanges or the lack thereof. Unfortunately, IOTA is a hodl coin with some of the lowest trading volume in the top 50 or so coins. Trading fees is where exchanges make most of their money. This means IOTA is missing from some key exchanges. We also have to remember IOTA is a completely different cryptocurrency technology and implementing IOTA on a platform is not as easy as listing ERC20 token number 5000, which is basically a copy and paste job. To convince exchanges to list IOTA, we need to offer some sort of financial incentive. That's just the game, unfortunately. Further, the IF have communicated numerous times that there's some politics going on behind the scenes with various IF members falling out of key contacts at exchanges such as Kraken. Yes, considering an influential contact at Kraken called the whole community morons and he didn't want to pump our coins, but we need to do something to help more users access and use IOTA. People in America and other continents struggle to get IOTA because we're not on some of the key exchanges. Therefore, we do need to use some funds to target and help integrate IOTA onto exchanges. How we achieve this is another question that we'll debate in due course. Granted, it'll be a lot harder to pay larger exchanges to integrate IOTA compared to the smaller ones, which I think will be more achievable. But let's mobilize the community and get the ball rolling. Proposal number four, client libraries. Another proposal is to finance a team to build client libraries for more programming languages. This will allow much more developers to integrate IOTA in their applications and will increase adoption immensely. IOTA is marketing itself as a layer zero, a blockchain of blockchains. So we need as much interoperability and ease for new developers to integrate their projects from other ecosystems. These client libraries and new tools will help support builders and make IOTA's ecosystem more competitive. The final proposal of today is to finance a learn to earn scheme. This is where the DAO can pay various content creators to create educational courses to help people get started with their IOTA ecosystem. Then a separate fund can be set up which rewards those who watch the videos with MIOTA. This will be a nice way to encourage people to engage with the IOTA ecosystem and there'll be a lot more users who can then play around with IOTA. We have to remember a lot of companies and products offer a free version to entice people in. It's the oldest trick in the book. Taking some examples from the Cryptosphere, Binance Academy and Coinbase Earn have really been successful with this approach. So there we have it. Five proposals we can start pushing tomorrow with the new community funds to help make IOTA competitive in the layer one space. But before I go, I just want to remind you to check out govern.iota.org. This is where we can submit or even review other people's proposals and have our say how the protocol is going to evolve over the next few years. So please do check it out. If you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot and I want to keep making these videos for you. Until next time, peace.